Hi everyone, this is the AWS Blogger and welcome to another edition of OBS Ninja. In this I'm going to be showing something that is currently in beta, about to make it into production, but I want to show you some of the cool features. I want, it, this is a teaser, but you can play around with it as well. All you need to do to go is obs.ninja slash beta. In this one, I want to show you how to transfer a guest from one director to another director and the end user does not know where they're at because it doesn't bother them or matter. The director is the one managing it. Real, real quick, I'm going to set up a group chat here. This one's going to be AWS transfer one. Now, I hope you like the new layout or UI that's up and coming. The other layout is still there. You're going to see it, but this one might be taking it over. So keep an eye on it. I, I really like this, but I'm partial to the original one as well. Now I, I'm running two separate browsers. I'm running Chrome and Safari just to show you the two different director setup. I'm going to start another group chat on my Safari one called AWS transfer Two. both of these. Both of these are set up and ready to go. First, I can invite guests into here and click on my link, drop it in, join with my camera. I'll turn off my audio just because I'm on a local machine. Click start, I'm in my room. Now I can also transfer this to transfer to just as simple as clicking the transfer button. And now my guests have just moved from one director to another director to manage it. This is by far one of the coolest features that has been developed for it. Just think about the endless possibilities of transferring it to another director, not on the same machine, but across the world, uh, running another series, maybe another event, a AWS Community Day event or reInvent. You can move people around. Oh, I've got another session in this one. I can move from one director to another and they can manage it and add them to the scenes. And the end user doesn't know that. All right, now I want to take this and I want to transfer back to transfer one here. I'm gonna move back to the original director that I had set there. I do have an OBS solo link for that. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna close out and I wanna show you my OBS generator, which is really just an Excel spreadsheet that I'm utilizing. So I close out that person. I have a predefined link to join that says my name. So I'm not getting a unique streaming ID. I'm getting one that actually has my name title to it. And I'm going to join with that. So uh, real quick, we'll kickstart that. And I'm going to, I, I, what I want to do is grab the OBS link for it. I'll, I have OBS up here and running. And I already pre-populated that link and you see that um, right in there, the person who joins that will be automatically on the screen. But what if you wanna transfer that person from transfer one to transfer two and have them automatically populated in the OBS? Well, using the same method that I just showed you, I'm gonna take that with a very unique OBS link and add that as a browser source in here. I'll grab my nice OBS generated link come back to OBS. I'm going to add the browser source and say OBS and John two. We'll add this guy. We'll add my browser source here. Don't forget that audio. 1920, 1080. And there's John and you can't tell the difference. I'm just going to move it down here. The only way you can tell is if I disable it, you'll notice that John's not populated, but let's transfer myself to the other one. So let's bring up transfer to transfer to. I am now transferred to two. Here's my OBS link. I don't have it. I'm not even going to click it. I'm going to come to the workspace. Notice that I'm frozen. There's a couple things you can do. You can say, hey, listen, I'm just going to disable that and Bam, right there I am. 
but you can also leave it and it will automatically drop off because it's not an active link. And as you saw, I unchecked the visual and now it just dropped off. It's almost like a video delay or a signal degradation where it just drops and I got the new one set up. I hope everybody enjoyed this. Please take a look at the new OBS layout here that's in beta. So it's obs.ninja slash beta. You can play around with it as well. Uh, there's real cool layout. You can transfer guests from one to the other. I will report on any limitations that I find, but give it a test. Feel free, go into the wiki and report all those bugs. There's actually a link to report bugs and everything. Uh, Reddit, Discord is another one. Feel free. Thank you for joining. I hope you enjoyed my edition.